Hey guys, Mike Linares here, and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we start today's video, please remember to access your free quiz and preview our cool nifty new study guides not here on YouTube. Click the link right up here at any time during this video. All right guys, let's wrap up SIADH versus DI. Syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone versus diabetes insipidus. So in SIADH, we stop urinating and we get SI, soaked inside with low liquidy labs. And in DI, we diurese or basically drain a lot of fluid. So we get DI, dry inside, with high and dry lab values. Guys, a lot of NCLEX questions come from this. So it's important to know that it all revolves around ADH, the antidiuretic hormone. Created in the posterior pituitary at the base of the brain, our memory trick for this guy is ADH, adds to H2O. This guy keeps fluid in the body and not in the potty. Now the synthetic form of ADH, or basically the man-made or drug version, ends in pressin, like desmopressin or basopressin. Guys, it's given to decrease urine output and also helps to press up the blood pressure. Look, I just think it's pressing on the vein. But caution, headaches are a huge priority since ADH adds to H2O. Guys, our labs end up low and liquidy, leading to hyponatremia, that low sodium, below 135. We're talking swelling in the brain, leading to seizures and then to death. So the big NCLEX keyword here is headaches, guys. Write that down or even confusion or agitation, usually those are the first signs of that low sodium, hyponatremia. So let's break these down one by one. For SIADH, just think C for Spanish, which basically means yes. So yes, ADH, yes, add the H2O. So the body gets really soaked with fluid. Now guys, this is super simple. Just use our memory tricks, the seven S's for SIADH. Our first S is for stop urinating. We get low urine output, and this means sticky, stinky, and thick urine. This means keyword high urine specific gravity, guys, over 1.030. This means we've stopped urinating, so whatever does come out is thick like paste. Now think SI for soaked inside, or basically swollen inside. We get really low liquidy lab values with keywords here hypo or low serum osmolality, and hyponatremia or low sodium. Guys, always huge NCLEX favorites, write those down. So again, the NCLEX is gonna try and trick you. So SI, think soaked inside, guys, low liquidy labs. Keywords again, decreased blood serum osmolality and decreased sodium below 135. Next S is again for our NCLEX favorite, guys. Sodium that is low. I'm gonna keep on harping this because the NCLEX loves to test you on this. So swelling in the brain with cerebral edema and seizures and death. Often the earliest signs, big NCLEX keyword here, guys. Headache, headache, headache. But also confusion and agitation. Next S is again for seizures from that low sodium. So guys, we set up seizure precautions for SIADH with that low sodium, huge priority. Next is for severely high blood pressure. Since SIADH, we stopped urinating and now we're swelling inside, guys. Blood pressure will be up as well as edema will be up. Which brings us to our last S, guys. Review on DI versus SIADH. We have a little wrap up video right over here. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, Click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right guys, see you next time.